Is your React app growing and your internal state is growing along with it? Now you are trying to move to a context-based solution or a different state management library like Redux. Well, I think Valshio has got you covered. Welcome to my YouTube channel .js and today we are going to learn about Valshio. So Valshio is a tiny state management library for React uh, that you can use to actually have some or maintain some global state in your uh, React applications. So today we are going to build this uh, theme picker application using Valshio, uh, which basically just has the functionality to change the theme from light to dark. So let's go ahead and build this. I've already created a React project and the basic UI components which we need for this application. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create my Valshio store using the two interfaces that I have here. One is the colors interface, which is going to store all the tabling classes. And the other one is basically the theme, which is the actual store, which has got light, dark, and more properties. Uh, let's go ahead and create our Valshio store now. So the Valshio store can be created using a function called proxy, which is going to take an initial state. Now let's see how we can use this store. So the Valshio store can be actually used from a hook called useSnapshot, which is also from Valshio, and it actually takes the actual store as an argument. So what Valshio will do, Valshio will basically, uh, whenever you call this hook anywhere in your application, Valshio is going to provide the actual store to the pieces wherever you use this store. Now let's try and consume this in our app component. Let's go ahead and use our use theme hook that we created in the app.tsx file. Uh, so it's going to create uh, a theme object based on the mode and the theme can be con consumed in all the classes we have here. Now let's go ahead and do our first mutation, which is the change theme uh, function. So mutations in Valshio are pretty straightforward. You can directly apply the mutation to any pieces of your Valshio store. Uh, in this case, I'm uh, updating the mode of the Valshio store and it's going to be either light or dark. Uh, so now let's go ahead and apply this mutation in our app component. So I'm going to be updating the mode uh, using the icon that I've created here. And first I will export the function that I just created in the theme store file. What this is going to do is this is going to check if the mode is already light, then it's going to update the mode to dark and vice versa. So this is how uh, we apply mutations to our Valshio store. And uh, the interesting thing here is, uh, uh, the components whichever are subscribed to that piece of uh, Valshio store would only get re-rendered whenever a mutation is applied. So now let's go ahead and consume our theme uh, in our themed elements.tsx file, which is our which is our actual components. So I'm going to consume the theme the same way that I did in the app component. Now all the elements in this uh, themed elements component are consuming the theme from the Valshio store. Let's go to the browser and check if this actually works. So I'm just going to quickly refresh. There you go. So now uh, both the components are reacting to the mutation that we just applied. And basically it's ch changing the theme from dark to light. Uh, now let's go ahead and do a couple of mutations, uh, which will change the color of the text from red to yellow. So I'm going to change the background color and the text color uh, from yellow to red. And let's uh, use a timer to actually do this mutation. So let's create a use effect to actually run our timer. And this interval is going to update the colors from yellow to red every one second. Let's check in browser if this works. There you go. Uh, so basically every one second, the color is changing from yellow to red. And this is happening because we are directly applying the mutation to our Valshio store. Pretty cool, right? So Valshio is a pretty tiny state management library and it's got like quite a good amount of stars on GitHub and also has a nice documentation. So if you are thinking about uh, switching to a state management library, I think you should definitely check out Valshio before making any decisions. Uh, so this is all that we have for today. And if you like this video, do hit that like button. And if you have any thoughts on Valshio and about this video, please let me know in comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon to get notified. Until next time, it's me Vijay signing off.